What's up guys? Hope you're having a good day. I'm back out in the garage in the Mustang to record another video, quick video for you. If you happen to watch my other Mustang audio video, I just got finished installing a set of full front speakers, Infinity reference speakers, so we replaced the tweeters, the mid-ranges, and the center dash speaker. We ended up not doing the bottom door speakers. I won't go into all the detail here in case you don't really care about that. But in the at the end of that video, I mentioned that there is a setting you can change in the Forescan software for the Ford cars, trucks, stuff like that, that will completely transform the audio in these vehicles. It did in my case anyway. Your mileage may vary. But I wanted to show you in this video how to do that real quick. It's a simple thing to do. You will need the Forescan software uh, and a license. You can get a free two-month trial license through that. Uh, their, their website is real easy to do. And then you can purchase the lifetime license if you have a lot of different mods or settings you want to change and, and tweaks you want to make to it. But anyway, if you haven't seen the audio install video, I'll leave a link to it so you can see everything that I did in that video if you're interested. And then if this video helps you uh, and you want to you know, leave a like or a comment if you have questions or whatever, Please think about subscribing if you want to do so, but we'll take a quick look at the settings in Forescan, show you how to do that, and you can check it out and see what you think. Okay, so we've got Forescan up and running. If you don't know how to do that, uh, there's plenty of videos online. I can do that, do one for you uh, if there's enough requests or comments about it, but it's pretty straightforward installing the software. Software is free. Like I said, the license you'll have to pay for, but you can get a two month trial license of which you can get a lot done in two months. There's not that many settings in here that you probably want to change. But anyway, staying on, on topic here, uh, the module you want to change or the setting is in the ACM module configuration. This one is in the as built format. So again, you may want to you may want to come back here and click save to back up your existing file. Uh, there is a restore option if you screw something up. But again, you might want to do this at your own uh, discretion. Uh, so, but anyway, under module 7270102 right here, I believe when I first had this, I had a one in this second slot right here. So right, let's see if I can click on it right there I had a one and then I changed it of course to the zero and I r clicked on right it will prompt you about some checksum um, is it doesn't add up or whatever you can just ignore that and proceed through because what it does is it basically kind of sums up all of the the values you have in the different fields and and to see if they all are correct but of course you change something so now the total isn't isn't the same but that's okay because it'll fix it for you and once you change that value and hit right and reboot the car or switch it on and off it is amazing the amount of difference that you have in in the sound system in these cars so uh, i'll go into more detail and in depth about that so evidently from the factory ford's already programmed this car uh, with uh, factory equalizers and settings in place to protect the, the crappy speakers that they put in here. It, again, if you watch my speaker install video, you'll understand just how cheap and paper thin the factory speakers are that they put in these cars. So, uh, what the research that I've done online and everything, it, evidently they put that fail safe in place to protect them from, from everybody turning it up wide open and blowing the speakers. So when you do a speaker upgrade, it, it obviously sounds better. The, the highs are better, it's crisper, it's clear, just like it was in my case, but it just wasn't worth it almost to spend the money and the time and effort to, to upgrade the system in the car because it just still didn't sound like it ought to sound from an aftermarket speaker upgrade. Now granted, we didn't install any aftermarket amps. We didn't bypass anything in the head unit. I didn't want to. I wanted to keep all the factory stuff in place. The uh, navigation, the you know, keep it as factory as possible, but I wanted a better sounding system in the car. So anyway, um, 
I did some more research online. I started playing around with the Forescan software, found out there's all kinds of different mods you can do with it, and I came across one for the sound system. And sure enough, when I made that one change that we just looked at in the system, it was amazing, the sound quality difference. So again, if you're on stock speakers, might not be the mod for you. You may end up blowing your stock speakers. But since I upgraded everything in the system, uh, just tremendously, uh, the the amount of difference that you got out of that that speaker upgrade. So the base again, we don't have a subwoofer, but the mids and the bass were finally back to where they should be. The entire sound spectrum sounded better. It was amazing the difference that that one setting in that software made. So it 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 leaves your stock equalizer, so your treble, your mids, your bass. You still have those slight adjustments in your system, so you, that doesn't really change, but it just opens up the full frequency range and the equalizer. It doesn't, it doesn't uh, d distort it, it doesn't restrict it, and now you can get the full potential out of your aftermarket speakers. So well worth the time and effort to make that one change if you're gonna do any kind of speaker upgrade. Now, two other things to mention, there is another setting you can make through Forescan that will disable the bass roll off at higher volume levels. But from what I understand is if you do that, uh, it can really impact the whole system if you don't have an aftermarket amp. So it kind of just does a straight pass through. That what That's not my case. I don't have an aftermarket amp yet. I hope to have a, a JL stealth box in the back with a JL amp to push it all, but not not there yet. So, so keep that in mind. You might not want to do that because it could uh, actually reduce your output and you won't get everything that you want out of your stock system. The other thing, which is very minor, is it does impact the the beeping or the the backup sensor volume so if your car has it this car does when you're backing up and and something's near you the cross lane traffic or or whatever and it gives you the audible alert it's it's a lot more muted now than it was previous doesn't bother me I thought it was too harsh anyway it was too loud uh, and annoying so I actually like it being more muted than it was before uh, so again, you know, that's that's perfect for me But just keep that in mind for some reason when that change is made it does mute and not completely But it does tone down the overall volume level of the the beeping the warning beeping uh, From from your speakers again So just keep that in mind that that, that will be impacted with this change as well so overall now I'm very happy that I did the speaker upgrade. It's well worth the time and money. Again, I'll leave a link to that video if you want to check it out so you can see what I did do with the speaker upgrade. Um, I still plan to do the rear speakers and a subwoofer, but tremendous difference just doing these front few speakers and then making that change in the software. It's like a whole nother sound system. Uh, I'm, I'm actually happy with where it is now. So hope the video helped a little bit if you've been looking to try to find a reason to, or a source to fix your audio if you haven't been uh, exactly happy with it or it seems substandard because in all honesty it is. And so if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you got a question, comment, leave them and I'll, I'll do what I can to help out and consider, subscri consider subscribing if you're interested in more videos like this. I appreciate it. Have a good one.